Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Have you heard of the Epic Times? They're a relatively new player in the Canadian media landscape, granted, but they've increased their print and online distribution over the last half decade enormously. In all likelihood, you've read their work. They've done a lot of really great stuff, despite the Canadian government doing all they can to stop them. See, the Epoch Times is staunchly anti-communist China, and you know Justin Trudeau doesn't appreciate that one little bit. It infuriates most pro-China institutions in the country, including the Liberal government, including radical union workers at Canada Post, and a surprising new opponent, actually, the Conservative opposition to Trudeau. Yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding. Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole handily won his job on a strong anti-China platform. But since headhunting the vice president of Huawei Canada, the Conservative Party has been compromised. In a statement that I almost couldn't believe, I had to read it twice, the Conservative heritage critic called for the effective cancellation of the loudest anti-China voice in North America. Listen to what he said. How can the Minister of Canadian Heritage justify giving $455,000 to such a controversial newspaper? The fact that the federal government is giving it money while our community media are dying out is totally unacceptable. That was Alan Rays. He's supposedly a patriotic Canadian Conservative MP. Now, he didn't question the millions of dollars that are funneled by the feds to socialist publications like the Toronto Star. No, he's not worried about them. He's only worried about the Epic Times. The only paper he decided to pick on was the only strictly anti-communist paper in the nation. It's clear that he really doesn't care about the money or else he would have called for the Toronto Star to get off the dole for the benefit of small town papers. He targeted the Epic Times for a political reason. It must just be a coincidence, I suppose, that this completely out of character comment for the Conservative Party came less than just 10 days after this fellow, Jake Enright, took up the job of issues manager for the opposition. In other words, Beijing Jake has the job and responsibility of deciding what issues any particular opposition critic is allowed to talk about. We knew that China has a death grip on Trudeau, but somehow they have an unbelievable amount of control over the conservative opposition too. Their grip is tightening. Beijing is framing the political debate from both sides of the aisle in Canada. It is a massive problem. I had to ask the conservative party about this, so I reached out to them. They seem happy to do interviews with far left publications like La Presse out of Quebec. That's who Alan Rays spoke to. So surely they could answer some of my very basic questions about what happened. I asked, like I said, basic questions of Alan Rays, Melanie Pardas as well, O'Toole's communication staffer, and I even sent an email to Enright himself to help him clear the air if he wanted to. Can you guess what they said? Well, naturally, they ran and hid. That's what the Conservative Party does these days. No answer, because they don't care. I don't think they're actually even trying to win the next election, if I'm being honest with you. I think they're planning for a defeat, and the only standing orders at CPCHQ are to not take any swipes at China under any condition anymore. I wonder who on their team China has in a vice grip. Think about it. Just a handful of days ago, O'Toole actually did an interview with the Epoch Times. When he was a candidate for his current job, he spoke to them frequently, more than he even spoke to Rebel News or CBC. And then something changed. It all changed around the time he hired Enright. Now look, I don't begrudge Enright. Maybe he needs the money more than he needs sleep at night. But why would Aaron O'Toole make such a reckless decision by putting someone like Enright in such a powerful job? I don't know about you, but I think it's time it's time that we ban Huawei from Canada and we ban their agents from working in our politics. Would you not agree with that? I think it's a very simple ask, don't you? We've set up a petition at banhuawei.com that you can sign. Thousands have already done it because enough is enough. If you want to let Aaron O'Toole know that you will not support him if he continues going down this path, sign the petition. We can't let China own our democracy. Because once that happens, there's no going back. For Rebel News, I'm Keen Bexty. Like I said, please go to banhuawei.com. Sign the petition. We'll send it to Aaron O'Toole. This needs to stop.